What is the best way to declutter clothes? That is a great question. I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today I'm in the clutter corner, and the clutter corner, for those of you that are just joining us, it's a table that you set up anywhere, and you bring items one by one to the table, and we make decisions about that item. How do you get rid of clothes and what is the easiest way to declutter clothes? It's to pick one item from your closet, disconnect it from your closet, bring it to the clutter corner, and then let's make a rule or a decision about that item. And then from here through forever, when you're wandering through a store and you see a clearance rack and it has that type of item, you're not gonna be tempted to go, oh, let's see, I think I have a whole closet full of that kind of stuff, I could use one more. You're gonna say, no, 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 I made a rule about that type of item. I no longer need that type of item, therefore we're gonna let it go. And you're able to walk right on by and not get caught up in the sentimentality of having something like what you used to have or something that you got rid of, okay? So today I'm helping a woman and we're going through her clothing and she used to be an avid cyclist before the accident. So now that she's no longer cycling, we have some cycling clothes and some athletic gear that she's not using, okay? So we're gonna make decisions about that today. Now, while I was in her closet, I pulled out these hangers and I literally took them off the shelf just like this. They did not have any clothes on them whatsoever. And if you can see up closely, these all have dust on the tops of these felt hangers. So we're gonna re remove these from the closet, okay? And the reason that I brought them to your attention today is because there's an instinctive nature that, oh, I paid a lot of money for these expensive hangers, so now that I got rid of the clothes, I wanna hang on to the hangers. But as long as you have empty hangers in your closet, unconsciously, there's something that says, oh, I have empty hangers, there's a piece of clothing that goes on those. And so if we're not replacing the clothes that we're getting rid of, we wanna also get rid of the hangers, okay? So that is rule number one. Rule number two is let's take a look at the type of clothing we're gonna get rid of. Now, I just put these in a laundry basket. You can use a uh, box or a garbage bag or however you wanna dispose of them. But what I did is I just brought this here for convenience. And we're gonna put the donations back in here. Uh, we'll probably just donate them right on the hangers. So I'm gonna donate them, but let's take these out and let's look at these and we'll make some rules to go along with these. Now, this is actually round two because I've already gone through this whole entire procedure with the homeowner. I thought I'd go through it again with you so you could see the process of what happens and the decisions that we made, and then I'll tell you why we made the decisions that we did. Okay, so the first thing is this type of little shirt or undershirt or whatever. It's actually like a little camisole. It's lined, and she used to wear these all the time, and we have a whole lot of them in a whole lot of colors, okay? But now these also had a lot of dust on the top, which tells me they have not been worn. So when I asked about this particular item, she said, before the cancer, I was wearing stuff like this all the time. And now I always wear stuff with sleeves on it and sunscreen so that I don't enhance the cancer by putting myself out in the sun. So I said, is it safe to assume that you're not ever gonna wear this type of shirt again? And she said, I might wear one of them underneath a, a sheer blouse or something. And so what we did was we saved, because she has lots of these that are white, like several of these that are white. We saved one that was white, one that was black, and one that was beige for wearing underneath other clothing. But all of these, she agreed that we could get rid of those. So we're gonna put those inside the basket. Again, there were lots of these in lots of colors. So these go inside the bin. All right, then we got to a bunch of athletic shirts. And these are athletic shirts that she wore when she was working out, doing yoga and things like that. I couldn't help but notice that on some of these, they still had the price tags on them. And I was like, oh wow, those are awesome. Uh, these are brand new, you've never worn them. And she said, yes, I know, I bought them when they were on sale. And many people buy stuff that goes inside their closet and then they never actually wear them. And so I said, well, did you wanna hang on to them? Would you like to re-gift them? And she said, no, you're welcome to any of them if you want them. I don't want them personally, but uh, I know the video editor that does our video, uh, video editing for this show, she wears a lot of stuff like this. So I will give her first right of refusal because she's about the same size. So I'll say, hey, Kristen, do you want these? And maybe she says yes. If not, they go to the Goodwill, okay? Uh, like I said, she was an avid cyclist. And so there are a lot of cycling clothing 
Uh, these are like the padded shorts that you wear when you bicycle. But since the accident, she's not going to be riding again, probably ever. And so these, while it's great, they're in great condition, it's nostalgic to her. It's going to give her more space if we remove these from her closet. So we're taking all of this athletic gear and all of these sun sheer kind of shirts, and we're going to get rid of these and no longer again is she going to be buying any of those. So now for the rest of her life, she's got the beige, the white, and the black one that she can wear underneath other clothing. And they're durable fabrics, they're athletic fabrics, performance wear, they'll last probably for another 10, 15 years. Maybe she buys another one later on to replace the one she has, but there's no need to have this many of them inside a closet. So with one decision, we were able to remove probably 30 pieces of clothing from her closet with making that one decision. And now moving forward, as she goes to stores, and discount racks and athletic stores, if she sees stuff like this, she'll say, no, thank you, I'm good, right? Because now we've established a new rule about this type of clothing. All right, that is how the clutter corner works. And this is how you get rid of clothing easily as you're decluttering your closets. If you've got questions or comments, those go in the notes below. If you want to join us over at Hoarding World, you do not have to be a hoarder to participate. You can join us as we change our relationship with stuff. It is a support group, and we are here to help you. Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.